All right, so here's the scoop. This is going to be kind of like a challenge, a, mo a challenge thingy thing, but it took so long to turn more into a mukbang thingy thing. So yeah, just sit back, enjoy it. We're going to have some fun and let's get eating. And now we proudly present today's program, Lobsters, a cinematic masterpiece. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and by popular, very, very popular request, today we're eating some lobsters. So boy oh boy do I have quite the story for how these lobsters came about. So originally, I had planned to go buy lobsters, which I did. I ended up buying every lobster that the place had. They only had four lobsters. Nonetheless, even this four lobsters cost me 75 bucks. Lobster is not cheap. So then everybody, originally it was going to be slightly larger, maybe a few more lobsters. But after $75 and them only having four lobsters, here we are. So it might be a little slower pace, but enjoy as we eat these four lobsters. So I have also three kinds of butter. I have a normal butter, I have a garlic butter, and I have an Old Bay butter. I've never actually had Old Bay Spice. I know it's very popular in seafood. And I has recently saw a lady eat Old Bay with lobsters. So we're going to find out what the heck it's like. And then I have some green beans I'm going to eat as well. But anyway, I guess this is going to be like a mukbang kind of thing. So here we go, everybody. Here, let's eat some lobsters. So for those who love their good old Atlantic lobsters, been a while since I had the lobster, to be honest with you. I'm not, don't recall the last time when, to be honest. I don't really have the proper tools either. So, let's see how easy all this will be to eat some lobsters. So, first bite, lobster, let's just go normal. Tastes like lobster. Mm. No complaint. I get a little thing out with the, the fork. I don't really have a, I don't have a pick. There we go. Look at that. Come on up, baby. There we go. All right. Uh, technical difficulties. So I cracked the claws, I also cut the tails. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but I actually used to live in Maritimes, so in Atlantic Canada. And there was a time where I actually worked as a cook for a summer um, before I started university. So I cut and prepared lots and lots of lobsters. So I'm gonna try this one in the normal butter first, because I think that would be delicious. Ooh, ooh, mmm. Oh, man. All right, lobster's good, but you add butter, it's a thousand times better. Get into these tails. So again, I just split the tail. That way, you can just take the meat and pull it right out. Look at that. You see that? Look at that hole. Lobster tail came out. Mm. So some people eat the you know, all the green stuff and the, I think they call it the row and lobsters. And you know, the row is probably the eggs. Some people have the green stuff, I forget what it's called, but some people make a pate out of it. I never have. Lobster. Um, I'll go for the regular butter again. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Mm. I put a little bit of salt in the butter too. You definitely need that salty butter. It is delicious. Wow, few pieces. I forgot about this. But I also need to be very, very careful with these two lobsters. Because now, I have a, a metal knife 
But first I tried to crack the claw with a ceramic knife and it fragmented a bit. I totally forgot about that. I'm glad I reminded myself. Yeah, so somewhere there's potentially a piece of a ceramic knife. It should be very sharp and I do not want to eat. So let's try this garlic butter now. Let's see how far I can tip that. Uh, garlic butter. Mm. Smells garlicky. And I used real garlic. I made this myself. Definitely very strong garlic flavor. Of course, you know, it has that nice butter flavor. The accent. It's good. I think I like the normal butter more than the garlic butter. But then we have this Old Bay butter too we gotta try. Keeper. Yeah, I think I like the, I think I like it without the garlic, the butter. It's not bad, it's just, it preserves the taste of the lobster more. Oh, by the way, I don't remember if I, if I mentioned this, but I have about six pounds of lobster here. So each one's about a pound and a pound, between a pound and a half and a pound and a quarter. It was uh, $13 a pound, $12.99 a pound and it came to just about 75 bucks. So you can do the math yourself. It's close enough anyway. I guess everybody wanted to buy some lobster. I'm just gonna, there you go. When in doubt, crack it with your freaking mouth, eh? There we go. Now I'll be able to get all the pieces out. Some people also eat the legs, like they try to get the meat out of the legs. I've never had the patience or I've never really had the technique down. Well, I know it's this light is now coming through the window. It's lighting up my shirt and my body. Mm. That was good. All right, another lobster. There you go, here's the row, here's the eggs. Another lobster I have to be careful of with the, uh, for that blade piece. So there's that lovely looking lobster. That tail. I'm gonna try this in the Old Bay. Like I said, I've never actually had Old Bay spice before. So the idea of the Old Bay butter is pretty interesting for me. Hmm. I really like that. It's it's a different it's a different flavor. It's like it can taste spices. I know it's called Old Bay partially because it has bay leaves in it, and it like it tastes as if it would go very good on seafood, and it does. And I know that's what most people use it for. They put it on seafood. Mm. Hmm. Very herbal. I like it. It obviously does, you know, I'm gonna say take away from the lobster taste a little bit. Um, not take away, it m masks the, fl the, the flavor of the raw lobster a bit. Not raw, but the plain lobster. So, I like it. I would just say that if you want the pure lobster experience, I think I'd just go with the uh, the normal old butter. I think that's the best way to get that pure lobster experience. Oh, I thought the whole piece was gonna come out. 
by that normal butter. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, yeah. Oh, baby. I definitely think that the plain butter, there we go. That plain butter is my faves. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. It just makes the lobster so much better. Good flavor. Good old lobster meat. So I've heard of places in like, I want to say like Boston, kind of doubt they exist anymore, but at least previously used to exist where it was like, all you can eat lobster. And yeah, they're just little ones, but like, I totally, like all you can eat lobster, that'd be insane. Assuming that there wasn't a $13 per pound price tag on it. Was that definitely impedes the amount of lobsters I eat. Same as when the store only has four lobsters. I will say though, even using my techniques of cracking things, Oop, I'm, and things flying all over. I do wish that this would come out of the shell. Like, I wish the lobster didn't have such a shell, so I could eat it quicker. It looks damn good. Oh wow! Got a little squishy noise. Oh, come on out, shell, or meat, or whatever you are. There we go. Oh, it fell right out. By the way, if you ever cook lobster in your home, don't keep the shells and stuff in your house. Or if you do, freeze them. Because they will smell. Mm, going back. Normal butter. Ooh. And look, the way it's like condensing, it's really thick. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, boy. Woo! That was a nice bite. Mm. Mm -mm. Just a nice mouthful of lobster. Definitely something I'm alright to have a mouthful of. We don't have a cracker? Use your freaking mouth, boys. Or ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Come on, lobster. Here we go. I gotta use my finger. Push that old. Oh, shucks. Save my, uh, save my swear words there. I definitely almost swore on that one. But yeah, boy. Let my finger work for this one too. Oh yeah, look at that. Just pushing that old lobster out with my finger. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> There's gonna be some funny noises and clips coming out of this video, I tell ya. Came right out. Thank you, officer. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Woo! Damn good. Oh man, our lighting's getting crushed by the old sun moving around. Until it's been a while when the sun I've been eating for a while when the sun starts to move around. Oh, come on. First the last time I just was able to suck it right out. Oh wow, that one literally just fell out. Beautiful. Mm. And that normal butter. Oh, just, just 
look at that. Just look at it. I'll tell you what though, I know like the Old Bay is big for when you're doing like crawfish boils that kind of thing but I've never had that but I really dang want to that's why I want to go down to the south the southern United States have some of them mud bugs and crawfish boils if the lighting continues to change I'll stop and play around with it yeah, I need to get down to the southern United States, eat some mud bugs, some crawfish, have myself a real seafood boil. Never had that. Crawfish and seafood boils and stuff aren't really like Canadian things. Um, mussels, like eating mussels are very, like that's more of a Canadian maritime thing. Lobsters, a maritime thing. But mud bugs and crawfish are not really a thing. And if you're going to cook those kinds of seafood, like mussels or lobsters, you generally use... Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. There you go. The sun just moved again. Do you guys not use strong spices like Old Spice or Old Bay? It's more like maybe a wine, like a white wine. Maybe some garlic, some lemon. Look at that. Freaking butter is sitting on that thing. Ah, mm. so much butter. Mm. All right, thickening up. Oh boy. Mm. All the butter I'm getting on these bites is phenomenal. Woo wee! Got some old bad spice right there. Mm. Oh man, this is a that's a big claw. So these, I think the last two are bigger than the first ones. Come on, pull right out. That'd be so cool. No, not quite. Almost. Not quite. Ah, there we go. Man, I will say though, I'm I'm pretty much I'm enjoying this more. I don't want to say I, I didn't think I'd enjoy this, but. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would. I'm like, I, I like lobster. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite food ever, but I like it. But this is turning out even better than I would have thought. This is the, oh my God, I just got juice all over this. That's the big boy right there. That you wanna check out. Oh, look at that freaking beautiful imagery. Woo wee. Going with that normal butter for it. That now thickened normal butter. It's just freaking dripping and seemingly coated in that beautiful stuff. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh boy. Ooh, wait. Ooh, oh. Mm. Oh man. Oh, whoa. I swear that bite was life changing right there. Woo! Wow, I got uh, I got pretty intense there. It was almost like a, it was almost like an intimate level thing. My God, that was damn good. Mm. Oh boy. Ugh. Get the living heck out of this thing! Come on, y'all. We're going to the next lobster because this thing is freaking beautiful. Just freaking look at that thing. Going with this big, oh, oh, look at that jumping. Going with this big old tail. Got a big old tail on this one, I'll tell you that much. Something to look at, I'll tell you that much too. You know what, fun fact, is even a female, because they got them there in their red row, them eggs in it. So this girl, she got a big tail on her, I'll tell you that much. Freaking, mm, mm. It's like now that my mouth is like watering even more. After that last bite. Uh, Look at that butter. Just look how it's sticking to that lobster. <laughs> I think I'll just drink this butter after. 
Oh, hot damn. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's too damn good. Oh, wow. I'm like, this thing, this is changing. These bites are changing me. Like, I'm getting just so euphorically excited. Just look at that. Like, it's literally just caking onto that lobster. It's thickened. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 This is insane. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think I enjoyed it this much. And it's kind of rare that it got better as it went on. It's just like the other way around. I'm all right with it. Ooh, dang lobster. You're treating me pretty well tonight. I'll tell you that much. Ah, yeah. Got that water in there. This might be one of my favorite experiences with lobster ever right now. Let me try this one on the Old Bay. The Old Bay is thick and dried up. Well, this should be a this should be a a flavorful old bay bite. Look at that. Just look at that imagery right there. Mm. All right, here we go. Mm. Whoa, yeah, that is old bay right there. But it's good. I still for the lobster. I still like that. Uh, I still like the plain butter the best. It's dang tasty. I wonder if it's like on, one day I'll find out what that old bed's like on the mud bugs. Then I'll give you a, a comparison. So I'm promising right now, the, one, the first time I get good old crawfish boil and some of that old bay, I'll think back to this day and compare it how it tastes like a, you know, compa how it compares taste to a lobster. Just look at that. Look at that thing just dripping. Coated and dripping with butter. Mm. 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 Oh boy, oh boy, that's too good. That's pretty much it. My camera shut off for a second there, so I actually ate the last knuckle. Um, so that was me eating four lobsters. It was freaking damn good. It's actually way better than I expected it to be. Not that I expected it to be bad, but. Damn, I enjoyed that right there. So again, some people eat the legs, and somehow they suck that meat out. I guess I'm just not that good at sucking things, but it appeared to be pretty good at sticking my fingers in them little holes in the lobsters. So that was the lobsters. They were damn, damn, damn tasty. I guess I'll just move this out of the way right there. Put that out of harm's reach. And I'm gonna eat my green beans. Mm. Tell you one thing, I was dang ready to eat. I was uh, pretty much, this is all I ate all day besides I, ate, I had some pineapple just before this. While I was waiting for these dang lobsters to cook. Cause they were taking way too long. So now I'm gonna eat some green beans. Now these ones, they still got a little ends on them, like that. Which are hard and you don't wanna eat those little ends. Uh, I'll be eating these pretty much half of my hands, half of this fork. So I don't eat them things. But I honestly love vegetables. Some people ask me things like, why do you eat vegetables? I'm like, if they're healthy, I like them, tastes good. And they're good for you. This is gonna be a long ass video, folks. A long ass video. But admittedly, I did enjoy them lobsters, even more than I thought I would. And I thought I'd enjoy them, if I did. My only complaint 
about lobsters they take too dang long to eat a lot of things that easy access I just get my hands on and devour I ain't wanting none of them getting them things out of them things I just want to open it up dive right into it Put some of that old bay butter on, maybe. Basically, they're all gone anyway, but put some of that damn. Try that out in beans. And by golly, you know what they taste like? Green beans with Old Bay seasoning on them. Bunch of didn't expect that one to come. I want to fix my hair, but I don't want to get lobster juice in it. So, oh well, I'm done now. Damn good. I'm actually going to lick this bowl. Woo! That's some butter right there. Mm. I'm sorry, my arteries. Woo, wee, damn. They're strong. Anyway, woo! I won't take so much of that. I'm gonna wash my hands now. Clean up a bit. Ooh, that's some old bay butter out there, but everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It was a little different. Again, it was kind of like intended to be a challenge, but it turned more into a mukbang or mukbang. Basically, just eating some good old lobster and enjoying it there, but maybe I'll like do this thing in entirety and then I'll have a sped up version, but. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today. Very much appreciate your support. If you like this video, please give it a like. Share it with one of your friends. Please consider subscribing. Again, this is a pretty expensive video, so hope you guys like it. I enjoyed it as well. That was lobster. So that about until next time. You know, dude, just be happy, be healthy, be hungry. Enjoy yourself. Live your life. I hope you have wealth and prosperity. Excuse me, health and successes that you define because you define your own success there. So, there, buddy, I appreciate you. Until next time, I have fish of hands. Goodbye. And for those of you, who would like to know how to cook lobsters? I will show you. Here you have a lobster. Lobster has to be alive because the way they degrade is once they are dead, they decompose very, very quickly and you can get very, very sick from what happens. So you have a live lobster like this. You can either keep the rubber bands on or take them off. They aren't gonna melt in the boiling water. Here I have a pot of boiling water. Uh, I did salt the water a bit. And essentially, you're just going to drop them in. Goodbye, lobster. I put it in head first. I'm, I'm as humane as I can be. Uh, that being said, that's about it. It's pretty easy. You're going to see me do the same for the other ones. And yeah, cooking lobsters. Numero deux. Another thing I think which is very surprising for people, which not everybody knows, again, lobsters are not actually red until you cook them. It's when you cook them, that's when you get that change in the pigment from the heat. So you get that idea of the red lobster, it's cooked lobster. As you see, lobsters, or Atlantic lobsters at least, are generally kind of reddy brown. So yeah, fun fact, cooking lobsters with Joel. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's how you cook lobsters.